beautiful day. Solo skipping it here on San Diego Bay. The cruise ship. Let's check it out. Let's check out the cruise ship. Here we go, riding with the cruise ship, San Diego Bay. There they go. Sound it off. Disney. The Disney Wonder cruise ship. Bashing with them. Woo -hoo, solo skip. Let's check it out. We're riding the wake. Get extra speed. I'm doing 11 and a half, 12 until I line it up. Gotta love it surfing those wakes. Just cruising out with the cruise ship, riding the wake, getting over 15 miles an hour of speed. And then we got the waves breaking out here and the surf's breaking. There's some guys surfing out there and a bunch of boats. We'll go meet up with Ben. We've been fishing the bay for halibut, some live bait for halibut. Here we got people surfing right here. Wind's starting to pick up. A couple guys sitting deep. Oh, there you go. Cruising right there. Anyways, we're gonna go meet up with Ben. Brandon, Master Baits, let's go. Damn, out here by Ballast Point, check it out. I got the bait tank, the live well turned on. Master Baits, tube bait ready to go because we're meeting up with Mr. Brandon from Master Baits and Mr. Ben, Ben Rod Creations. Gotta be careful, navigating. It's kind of, it's busy day today in San Diego in the bay but we're gonna try to get some fishing in. Next vessel on the list right here, you got this big warship. You got the seals kissing. All right, where's Ben and Brandon at? We'll go ahead and fish the master baits. We'll put a little scent. It looks like them right there in the little skiff. More? Yeah, I'll take a couple more. Damn, these things are fast. Dude, that's yeah, yeah, nice. Not, not yeah. really nice. Yeah, these are gonna get it's slamming. Where are you gonna uh, drift them? Right here around the barge? You're gonna go no, across? We'll the barge is right here right now. Why yeah. not? What? No, get away from Mikey. He's my yeah. friend. All right, I'm not following them all the way out there. I was already out there that deep. I'm gonna go ahead and fish right here. Drop a live bait down. Here we go, live sardine on the Carolina rig. Nose hook. Huge halibut rake right there, look at that. And drop back down. I know that they're here, but that thing just got shredded. I thought it was kelp. You're Halley, Halley. Halib is chewing on it, won't take. Here we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mikey here, SD Fishing Sips. I got a new fish finder, a Garmin Echo Map, UHD 74 SV with the transducer. This unit that I just picked up, my buddy Rolly 
down at West Marine, Alpha Rosecrans in San Diego, hooked it up. I went ahead and I bought the unit new and I got the warranty, extended warranty protection plan with it from West Marine, I always get that. And I hooked it up to the solo skiff here last night. So it comes with this head unit, you get a screen protector with it, which is always cool. I never had one of these before. So if you pop this, this off here, boom that's how we're working it is with these charts so it's got navionics featuring navionics data in here for all these charts and everything and then it comes with a, a transducer as well so i got this turned on we'll go through this on the water the actual head unit but i was going to look at the install basically two cords you get your power cord and you got your transducer cord I had already had holes drilled in for my previous Lowrance fish finder and then I have these Hobie um, gaskets right here. So I got the two cords that come through here. One comes into the center here where I have it hooked into my lithium ion battery here. And then the other one comes all the way back to the end here where I have the transducer. This is the transducer that it comes with. And once again, I already had this RAM mount mounted on it. So that's how it's gonna be going right there. It was pretty simple. There was just uh, these screws that you put this plastic and screw it onto this transducer, but that's a big boy transducer right here. Anyways, that's the Garmin fish finder, chart plotter echo map that i got seven inch got my charts here i have to get it on the water so check out my new fish finder right here i picked up this garmin echo map fish finder seven inch from west marine down off of rosecrans in san diego thank you roly down there roly's the og kayak fishing uh, master from back in the day. So I'm excited for what the future has in store with that down at West Marine. But for right now, let's take a look at powering on the fish finder. So it comes with this screen protector right here, which is really cool and nice. And then it comes with the transducer, which I mounted on the back. I just stuck to the mount that I had before off the fire up. So it's got a combination buttons here on the side. That's how I powered it on but then it's also a touch screen. Then this is the home screen right here and different combos. I like to use this combo too right here. It's the chart plotter and the fish finder combo. So it's got all the important info on it right here. It's got water temp, it's got my speed, my heading direction. And then what's really nice is that if you zoom in on these maps, it's got really, really nice contour lines. Very detailed. I'll show you more when we get out there, so. Fish the, the Tranks. I got my Tranks 300 back here on the M1 Inshore, the Phoenix M1 Inshore. I got a Master Baits on it right now. Try a variety of different lures with that. That's what we're looking at today. The Tranks and the Fish Finder, the Garmin. And hopefully we'll see if we get on some Calico Bass. Some sand bass, maybe lucky with the halibut. Let's see. Beautiful sunrise here. We're loving life. You let's go. So I have my morning coffee. Under the bridge, bumping the tunes, standing up on the solo. Wow, wow, wow. See how detailed and nice the contour lines are? It's just super nice. So you can see I'm coming up. All right. 
right, now I got the Tranks 300 back on the M1 inshore with the master baits. A little bit of scent. Kelps up there just a ways. We're gonna move closer to the kelp. See if there's any bait over here. What do we got here? All the master baits. Calico, sand bass. Yep, nice chunky, chunky calico. Yeah. Stoked. This is the measurement on this guy. Yep. 15. The fish finder's working good. I came through this spot and uh, saw some marks on the bottom. We'll go back to it. Then I dropped down the master baits, the red. Coming to the spot again. See that? All that fish. See that? Marking all those fish on the bottom. Sand bass. Just huge sand bass on the uh, master baits. San Diego sand bass, getting it. See you later, buddy. All right, stand up riders doing it. Leaving Mission Bay now, we got the Nomad up front here. We're rolling, we're mobbing on the solo skiff. Fishing locally, La Jolla, why not? Let's get it. What do we got? First fish. Nice. Sculpin. That's a nice chunky sculpin on the master baits. There it is. First fish getting the beautiful sculpin on the master baits, the red. Woo -hoo -hoo. I almost forgot it's 12, 10 inches minimum for the sculpin. Let's double check. Yep. Don't want to get spiked. go those are poisonous those spikes on them a worm that's what we're looking for right there got something calico Got him. But see you later, Mr. Calico. Bye bye. He was quick. Fast one right there.